Take my hand if you want to live. I'd rather die. What is wrong with you, dude? This is not a comic book. It's real life. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scenes where the hero saves the villain. But you'll die. Nothing can stop that now. For this list, we're taking a look at scenes in movies where the good guy has a chance to let the baddie die, but decides to try and rescue him or her instead. Elsa, give me your other hand, honey, I can't hold you! The hero doesn't necessarily need to succeed in saving the villain, as long as the effort is there. Since we'll be talking about several life-or-death scenarios here, a spoiler alert is probably called for. He's just as brilliant as you are, and infinitely more devious. We'll see about that. Number 10. Save Trask, Save the World. X-Men, Days of Future Past. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Thank you for coming. If this superhero franchise has taught us anything, it's that the line between being a hero and being a villain can be quite blurry. With this weapon, there will be no human collateral damage. If I turn it on, the system couldn't even activate in here. While scientist Bolivar Trask is technically a bad guy, he builds the Sentinels with good intentions. Unless there's a mutant. To protect her fellow mutants, Mystique assassinates Trask with good intentions. In the long run, however, everyone's good intentions result in disaster. Now, enemies must unite to travel back in time and save Trask. Raven. While Trask's death is prevented in this exhilarating scene from X-Men Days of Future Past, the fate of the world is still uncertain. <laughs> Number 9. Kenji Falls, Rush Hour 3. Tonight I lose a brother. The climax of Rush Hour 3 takes our heroes to the top of the Eiffel Tower, where Chief Inspector Lee faces off with an old friend turned enemy. Come on, kill him already! The two engage in a well choreographed sword fight that results in both literally hanging on for dear life. <laughs> Despite being on opposite sides of the law, Lee makes a genuine effort to save Kenji. <laughs> Realizing that there's no way both of them are getting out of this alive, the villain decides to let go in a final act of redemption. Goodbye, Lee. No, Kenji! No! Kenji plummets to his demise, but at least Lee still has a brother from another mother in Carter. Number 8. One Little Cherry, The Fifth Element. By creating a little destruction, a cherry. I'm in fact encouraging life. Zorg presents himself as an untouchable crime lord, but he's only human. In reality, you and I are in the same business. Cherish. Thus, he can die in the most simplistic way, such as choking on a cherry. <coughs> Zorg almost hilariously bites the dust halfway through the fifth element. Unable to find the right button to call for help, Zorg's fate lies in the hands of Father Vito Cornelius. Where's the robot to pat you on the back? For the engineer! Seeing how Cornelius is a priest, he can't bring himself to just sit back and watch him die. <laughs> of course, he does toy with the villain a little before slapping him on the back. How your entire empire of destruction comes crashing down, all because of one little cherry. Number 7. Blackwood Hangs, Sherlock Holmes. There was never any magic. <sighs> Only conjuring tricks. When Sherlock Holmes is on the case, even the craftiest of villains doesn't stand a chance. Although Holmes is cocky, there is a principled side to him. The death of Standish was a real mystery until you used the same compound to blow up the wharf. An odorless, tasteless, flammable liquid. He'd rather see a villain hanged by the courts than do the deed himself. Because of this, he decides to save Blackwood at the very last minute, following a lengthy monologue. For God's sake, Holmes, cut me loose! Blackwood seizes this opportunity to retrieve the axe that saved him and finish Holmes. It's a long journey from here to the rope. As the raven lurking around foreshadows, though, Blackwood's days are numbered. One way or another, he's gonna be hung out to dry. Number 6. Schneider Can't Let Go 
Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. We have got it! Come on! The downfall of virtually every Indiana Jones villain stems from their obsession with legendary artifacts and a conquest for power. Elsa Schneider is no exception. It's ours, Indy. Yours and mine. Elsa, don't cross the seal. The Night warned us not to take the ground from here. As the temple collapses in The Last Crusade, Schneider is given a crucial choice. She can either take Indy's hand or reach for the Holy Grail. Elsa. Ah. Elsa. Don't Elsa. She goes for the gold and pays the ultimate price. Elsa. Ah. Our hero soon winds up in the same situation, as his father extends his hand and delivers the film's most touching line. Indiana. Indiana. Let it go. Indy realizes that some things are more valuable than treasure. Number 5. The Draco Who Lived – Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 Well, well. What brings you here, Potter? Ever since their first day at Hogwarts, Harry Potter and Draco Malfoy have been adversaries. And their rivalry only grows more heated as the years go by. You have something of mine. I'd like it back. During the Battle of Hogwarts, Draco and his cronies confront Harry in the Room of Requirement. When fire breaks out and Harry escapes on a broomstick, he could easily leave Draco behind to burn along with Goyle. Come on, this way! We can't leave them! He's joking, right? Being the good-hearted soul he is, Harry turns around and rescues his longtime enemy. If we die for them, Harry, I'm gonna kill you! The two may never be friends, but Draco can't help but have some admiration for Harry after his noble actions. <laughs> Number 4. A Backstabbing Bear – Toy Story 3 <laughs> Saving the villain might be the ethical thing for the hero to do, but it doesn't always mean the two will kiss and make up. Woody, look! I can see daylight! We're gonna be okay! <laughs> I don't think that's daylight. As Woody, Buzz, and the rest of the gang face incineration in Toy Story 3, they go out of their way to save the dastardly Lotso. Go! Go! Hit the button! <sighs> the strawberry-scented bear gets to safety, but he's not so eager to return the favor. Where's your kid now, Sheriff? No! Although he could save Andy's toys with a simple press of a button, Lotso chooses to let him fry. No! What do we do? Fortunately, the almighty Claw rescues our heroes, while Lotso is taken out with the trash. Hey, buddy! Oh. You might want to keep your mouth shut. Oh. <laughs> Number 3. Anakin Turns to the Dark Side – Star Wars Episode 3 – Revenge of the Sith Anakin, I told you it would come to this. Most of the other heroes on this list save the villain due to their uncompromising morality. In this case, however, Anakin throws his morality out the window along with Mace Windu. I am going to end this once and for all. You can't. He must stand trial. As Mace attempts to apprehend the traitorous Chancellor, Palpatine manipulates Anakin into believing he can save Padme's life. Just help me save Padme's life. Anakin decides to give Palpatine a hand by chopping Mace's off. Palpatine finishes the job, and the young Jedi vows his allegiance to the future Emperor. <laughs> From this moment forward, Anakin forsakes his hero status and assumes a new identity as Darth Vader. You're fulfilling your destiny, Anakin. Number 2. The Joker's Last Laugh – The Dark Knight Speaking of which, you know how I got these scars? No, but I know how you got these. 
The Knights of Gotham live by a strict no-killing policy. In Batman Forever, Robin makes the honorable choice to save Two-Face, although this kind of backfires. Oh, good boy! Good boy! The bat has taught you very well. It's normal. Stupid. But normal. In Batman Begins, Bruce Wayne decides that he's no executioner, rescuing Ra's al Ghul. If there were ever a villain the Dark Knight probably should have let die, however, it's the Joker. You just couldn't let me go, could you? After tossing the Clown Prince of Crime to his apparent doom, Batman grapples onto him so he can be brought to justice. I took Gotham's White Knight and I brought him down to our level. It wasn't hard. See, madness, as you know, is like gravity. All it takes is a little push. While the villain's been captured and Batman has maintained his one rule, it still feels like the Joker's gotten the last laugh in the end. <laughs> Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. You look well. I'll cut you loose. If you touch me, I'll shoot you. Understood. Do right and live through this. Spoken like a true Protestant. I'm not sending him away. You don't see it, do you? He's a villain. We can't do this by ourselves, Sam. Not without a guide. I need you on my side. I'm on your side, Mr. Furl. I'm not gonna fight you. You're my friend. You're my mission. Number one, Butch to the Rescue, Pulp Fiction. Want that gun, don't use it. Pulp Fiction is full of characters that do terrible things, but many of them are trying real hard to be the shepherd. After nearly killing each other, Butch and Marcellus Wallace find themselves in the most bizarre hostage crisis imaginable. Butch manages to get away, and leaving Marcellus behind would likely solve all his problems. His conscience gets the better of him, though, and Butch saves the gangster with his weapon of choice. After Butch slices up the store owner, Marcellus vows to get medieval on Zed's ass. After all, Marcellus Wallace is nobody's bitch. You hear me talking, hillbilly boy? I ain't through with you by damn sight. I'm gonna get medieval on your ass. In exchange, Butch gets his freedom and a chopper. Whose chopper is this? <sighs> Zed's. Who's Zed? <sighs> Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite hero saving the villain scene? No, you're coming with me. I'll not leave you here. I've got to save you. You already have. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Everybody was kung fu fighting. That man was fast at.